Hi, I'm Robert. Thanks for tuning in to my YouTube video. I'm a very handy person. I've been fixing things as far back as I can remember since I was nine years old. I've fixed stuff like sheetrock walls, small appliances, computers, and the list goes on and on. I even have some formal training in carpentry and computer repair. So I hope you find this information useful. All right, the uh, tools you're going to need is a pair of pliers, a flat tip screwdriver, a small one, I got the adapter there, then you got your quarter inch uh, ratchet screwdriver, and those are the only tools you should need. Process will take about uh, 30 to 40 minutes. Okay, on this video I'm about to work on a Kenmore refrigerator, and uh, the ice maker has an auger in it that pushes the ice to the door and crushes it. However, you want it set to these buttons on the front panel, a plastic piece on that auger broke, and now it's not pushing the ice through. So, first thing you want to do is go ahead and uh, grab the ice tray assembly and simply pull it out and set it this face down on the counter. After you pull the assembly out of the ice box, you want to set it on a countertop or something and peel these two screws loose then on this side pull these two screws loose next thing you want to do is uh, look how this spring is attached to this and then pull that screw out so that you can get the base of the assembly off next thing you want to do is pull these two screws loose from the bottom side and these two screws out from the top side and that will let you get that uh, front housing assembly loose before you take the uh, uh, gear mechanism loose. Next thing you want to do is take a screwdriver and take this clip out so that you can take the assembly apart out of the uh, plastic housing. Okay, here's the end of the auger. As you can see, the uh, piece that pushes the ice down through the door channel is broken. So you got once you get it out, you got to take this piece off, and it's reverse threads. So you put your pliers on there, and you try not to damage it. But when you try to take it off, as if you're tightening it and it should come out so I'm gonna turn this clockwise to unscrew this and then pull all these uh, ice crushing teeth off to get that off okay I broke it loose and as you can see I'm turning it clockwise and it's coming off so after you get that off you slide the rest of these pieces out and fit the new piece on there Okay, I got the auger old one off. I'm putting a new one on. You put the side with the holes in it. Slide that on first. And as you get that slid on, kind of awkward because I got everything else in my other hand and trying to film. But uh, it slides on and then you'll see your threaded piece. Now I got that fitted on there the way it should be and this then I'm going to put this piece on the uh, flat part with the smooth disc on it and that little chamber goes on the inside and the uh, auger fits in this rim in here so you put that on and then I got all of these pieces here still lined up and I'm going to fit them back on so that I don't lose any of those pieces and uh, in order that they were in and then I'll take the nut I discarded it a little bit trying to get it off I was trying to get it off the, the wrong way so you put that on there and you turn it now counterclockwise to tighten it so now this thing is ready to fit back into the ice tray okay after you get the front on uh the blade thing is kind of loose make sure you get that piece there 
tucked in to the hole so that you can fit the piece back together with the rest of the auger assembly. Okay, fit that into the piece. It only goes one way. Once you got that fitted in the back, you'll see the front where you can put the washer and the retaining clip on. So I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, make sure you get that clip pushed all the way in there so that that doesn't uh, undo itself while it's operating in the unit. Next, you want to reload the spring and put that uh, screw and bracket back on there so that that thing has got the spring tension on it that it's supposed to have. Next thing you want to do is fit the front housing piece up against the ice tray. Put the two screws in the bottom and then put the two screws in the top. And that will hold that together. Now you want to set the unit in the front tray piece. Put the two screws in here and on the other side put the two screws in here. Okay, whenever you get this thing back together, you want to slide it back in place in the ice box and look down in the bottom and make sure that metal piece is where it's supposed to be through that little door opening. And that should be it. it everything should work fine. You can cut the ice maker back on. Thanks again for watching the video. I hope you found the information useful and it helped you solve whatever problem you're working on. If you did, please like it, share it with your social media friends, and please subscribe to my channel so that you get notification of future videos that I make. You can go to my website, robertspinner.com. You can also leave comments here and questions, and I'll answer them as soon as I can.